Hello everyone, Eric Watson here, freelance writer, player of games, writer of words, recorder of videos, and rugged survivor of the zombie apocalypse. Welcome to my Let's Play series where I live stream video games currently twice a week on Mondays and Fridays. This is episode number one of my State of Decay 2 Juggernaut Edition series. If you enjoy my videos, consider supporting me via patreon.com slash roguewatson. Shoutouts to Platinum Patrons, Andrew, Richard, Joe, Will, Tiny Dancer, Nick, Andy, and Chris, and Gold Patrons, RPG Papercrafts, Charming Grenade, Pretty Boy, Numa, Marcos, Did, Vicente, Gilberto, Sean, A.K. Cert to be Adam, Dead Lizard Lounge, Sam, Rosh, Lumpy Spuds, and Jerome. Thank you all very much for your support. I was a big fan of the original State of Decay when it released, I want to say 2013, it was the Xbox 360 days, those halcyon innocent days back when we could like go outside and stuff. And I absolutely loved it. It was basically like it controlled a lot like a, like a Grand Theft Auto action game. So not really you know, necessarily built for combat, but built for exploration and vehicles and all that. But with a zombie apocalypse and it worked really well. I absolutely loved the combination of action plus uh, survival management of your survivors. You had to, you know, there was some resources you had to collect and keep your community together. And, you know, kind of felt Walking Dead-ish in that way. And, and all the survivors were procedurally generated. So you got to have, you know, people that you liked with cool stats. And then you got to play as any of them. And there was permadeath. So when you lost a character, you know, it, it could happen and it was really exciting and crazy. And then you just play as one of your other characters. You were basically collecting lives. All of these people were little lives. So all of that worked out really, really well. I was a big fan of it. I will always carry a torch for State of Decay. One of those rare games that I also bought, uh, I played through it and 100%ed it on 360, which I don't usually 100% games. And then I bought it again when it came out on, uh, on PC, on Steam for the year one survival edition and then played through all the DLC. So this is just one of those rare games that I just absorbed the hell out of and did absolutely everything in, which is very, very rare for me in general. Enter State of Decay 2, finally several years later. Now I do not have an Xbox One. I've never had really loyalty to any particular console. It's just, I ended up having a, a PS4 this uh, console cycle. It did come out on the Windows Store, but I was still kind of like, eh, let me kind of wait on a little bit. And then uh, they started releasing DLC, and it had maybe a little bit of uh, some uh, performance issues and other things that I was, you know, reading and, and paying attention to. So I basically held off on it for what amounts to about two years now, and it has since released on Steam. And the Juggernaut Edition includes all of the DLC that's released so far, including one that takes you back to the original land, uh, which is the Trumbull Valley. You can see right here the DLC, the Heartland. So for the purposes of this Let's Playthrough, uh, I'm going to obviously focus on the campaign because I'm going into this game completely blind, having never played any of it. I am a super veteran of the original game, but it has been, you know, literally like four or five years since I played it, so it's going to be, you know, a little bit rusty. I haven't decided if I'm going to play through the DLC or not. Um, maybe I will, maybe I won't. Generally when I do these Let's Plays, I don't typically play DLC, but... I hope to be really excited about this game like I was the original, so I could see myself doing that. But for the purposes of this playthrough, we're going to be playing through uh, the original campaign. So I think that'll do it for my initial spiel. Hello, Sean. How are you doing? Um, let me make sure. I've got my... It's a wonderful, gorgeous, sunny day outside. Uh, and of course, that means I'm playing video games. Make sure everything's looking good on my end. I think we're looking pretty good. Yeah, you played the bejesus out of the first game. Uh, I'm right there with you. I, I loved it to death, and uh, just I, I just kind of held off on State of Decay 2, and I've, I've been biding my time, basically, to grab it. And uh, honestly, that's not a bad way to treat a lot of video games, because you can get, you know, games are always improving because of patches and updates. A lot of times, especially with these kind of middleweight games, they'll release a better version, like Divinity Original Sin did this, they release a better version like a year later of an enhanced edition or whatever else that's got, you know, all the DLCs and everything else. So it, it kind of, it works in everyone's favor, honestly. Maybe not quite the developer and publisher, but uh, to, to grab the sexy edition when it releases after the fact. Um, so yeah, we're going to be jumping into the campaign. I haven't really messed at all with the settings. Everything defaulted to high. So I'm hoping we don't have any kind of frame rate issues. I did install it on my solid state drive which is nice because it's not a very large game. Oh, I was going to show you the... Uh, and I'm going to be using a controller because I remember that was the key for this one. 
Um, the update thing is kind of nice because it just explains Juggernaut Edition is an expanded and improved version of the post-apocalyptic survival fantasy game that originally launched almost two years ago. Since that time, we've watched and listened to the way you play. With these observations in mind, Juggernaut Edition is here to make your game better. If you're an experienced State of Decay player, I am. Uh, although I haven't played the sequel, you might be excited by the new category of heavy melee weapons or the brand new full-size map for you to explore. That's interesting. To assist those players just joining us now, we've improved the user interface to help you better navigate the game. We've also completely redesigned the early game experience to more intuitively teach you what makes State of Decay so compelling. That's that's also interesting. Usually one of the things that gets polished the best is like the early game thing because that's the thing every player is seeing. So it's interesting they had to go back and update that. Revi uh, we introduced a revised control scheme that reorganized a few key commands in more intuitive ways, improved the graphics and audio to make the game look and sound even better, and fixed mission and gameplay bugs to smooth your experience. It's like just patch notes. Massive undertaking for our studio, representing our love of this game and our appreciation for everyone playing it. I believe Undead Labs is now officially part of Microsoft, too. Microsoft bought up a bunch of studios the last couple years. You've been with uh, some of my favorite studios, too, like Obsidian and uh, I think the In Exile is now Microsoft. Whether you've been with us for a few years, we're just joining us now. Thank you for joining us. An exciting chapter of the State of Decay franchise. All right. Campaign. I'm going to define my legacy. To charge the community of survivors in a post apocalyptic world. Gather resources, build your home base, and battle the hungry zombies that now rule the land. It's always hungry zombies, it's never just satisfied zombies. New community. Do we want the standard State of Decay 2 experience? The Dread Zone. Deadlier zombies, larger hordes, and scarcer resources. Just hard mode. Or Nightmare Zone. Even worse. Uh, since I'm going in blind and fresh, hello Lumpy, uh, we're going to be doing it on normal, but that is cool that you can play on harder difficulties. I don't think that was a thing in the original game. And unfortunately, I won't be able to make any uh, comments on the Juggernaut Edition versus the original State of Decay 2 because I did not play the original launch edition of State of Decay 2. So all of my comparisons will be to the original game, which, as I mentioned in my opening spiel, I played like, like five years. I don't know. Whenever it came out on PC was the last time I played it. Daffodil and a Terrell. Sir, oh, choose your characters. Okay. So you get to choose your opening survivors. And as I mentioned, I believe all of these characters can die. There is permadeath in this game. Everybody's got their own stats, but they definitely can get killed. So I've got one option. Daniel, welcome to the channel. Once after the apocalypse, you reunited with your estranged brother. Since then, the two of you have stayed one step ahead of the zombies and starvation. But now supplies are running low. Luckily, your brother learned of an army-run refugee camp where you hope to find food and shelter, as long as you remember to share like mama taught you. So, Daffodil. Oh, I guess her real name is Lily Churchill. Churchill's a cool freaking name. Hall monitor into ultimate frisbee. <laughs> oh no, Terrell attended trade school and is afraid of everything. Oh. Wow, she is great at cardio. So I assume that means she can run. Unfortunately, I'm not quite sure. I mean, I can infer what some of these stats mean. Uh, shooting, obviously, fighting, wits. I don't know where that's going to come into play. Terrell is definitely a mechanic. And garbage at everything else. Does that mean he can, like, fix cars? Okay, so that's one option. We've got siblings. Uh, old buddies. Handy and Will. All of these are, like, sitcoms. You've been bailing your oldest friend out of trouble since middle school, and even though you're reasonably certain he did not cause <laughs> you're reasonably certain he did not cause the apocalypse, he hasn't exactly been helpful since it started. Luckily, an army refugee camp up ahead offers the promise of safety and a hot meal. So the story-wise is gonna be the same, it's just whatever characters you start with. I wonder if they're all like voice acted and everything else. Clock is ticking for your old pal to mess it up. Andy. Halo champion, Messi, has traumatic flashbacks. Jesus. Some of these are really funny, and then some of them are very much not funny. Willoughby Kramer, cosplayer, does heavy lifting, and a car person. Or a cat person, sorry. Car person would be more useful <laughs> than cat person. Uh, Andy can shoot. Is that because of his Halo <laughs> veterancy? That's funny. Will is also a runner. Okay, so they're just kind of buddies. They look like they're like going to be 
uh, in a stoner movie, buddy stoner movie. Perpetual breakup, Phoebe and Kate. You and your girlfriend have dated and split up at least 10 times over the years, but no matter how bad the breakup, you always manage to rekindle the spark. It seems disastrous. Things were going really well until the zombies took over. As you approach an army refugee camp in search of food, you are back together, at least until the first argument. Oh, man. Phoebe McNulty had a paper route and a heavy hitter. Look at that. She's a fucking kickboxer. Holy crap. She's got six stars. And Caitlin Fanning, a science geek, amateur pilot, self-effacing. Uh, she's got chemistry. Okay, some of these are new skills that I'm not quite aware of. I'm kind of leaning towards this one just because Phoebe seems like an amazing character. Wow, how many do they give me? This is a lot. The Odd Couple. If not for zombies, you would have never found love. The two of you met in the woods. Survivors from different worlds with no homes to go back to. Though your roads might have never crossed, you are now inseparable. As you approach an army refugee camp, you hope the same apocalypse that brought you together doesn't tear you apart. Cardo is a fitness boxer. Now, how are you a fitness boxer and you've got worse stuff? All right. These are not all created equal because look at the star total on this couple. He's got three total all in fighting and she's got three total. A bunch of one stars compared to this group, which has a shit ton of stars. I don't know how randomly generated these are. Because right now, why would I ever choose the odd couple? Elizabeth Slaughter is a cool damn name, though. <laughs> she's into gardening shows, which means she's got... A star into gardening. Okay, now we're back to the siblings. All right, if we just want to, like, min-max things, we'd count the number of stars and see where we are. But it's, so far, it seems like the siblings or the perpetual breakup group or the lesbians. It's either siblings or lesbians. The old, that age-old story. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten stars for Daffodil. I can't get over that name. And five, six, seven, eight for Terrell. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Phoebe's just amazing. Four, five, six, seven for cardio. We're stats, but better socially. <laughs> uh, what do you think, chat? Do any of you have any favorites that you're looking at for us to start with? Because this is going to be our first survivors. And uh, I believe how it well in the first game, I think you could only switch to people back at base, but then you could always take. Um, I think one person with you. I don't know how the sequel works, if you can like switch to people on the fly or how it is, but you always literally play as one person at a time. It's not like a party thing, but you can have the other, at least one other person along for the ride as an NPC that can help you. <laughs> that wasn't a sentence I was expecting here today. Me neither. Uh, I mean, props for the uh, diverse groups in here, for sure. Um, I'm not excited about how like unbalanced some of these are though just i mean i'm fine with it being randomly generated but you'd think they would all like at least come out with the same number of stars unless some of these are like rare skills like maybe craftsmanship is a really like nice thing to i don't know not having again it's always tricky and this isn't an rpg but with a game that you haven't played before and it asks you to make these like big decisions about okay what skills do you want to prioritize and i'm like man i don't know Perpetual breakup. All right. Team lesbian, we're in. Hopefully we can keep these two together. Chemistry. I bet chemistry, she can like make bombs and shit. So that's a pretty good combo. And two stars with shooting. All right, we're gonna accept team breakup. I wonder if they all have like voice acting and everything. That would be really impressive. Don't know if I turn subtitles on. We're about to find out. This is like a Fallout style opening. Oh God, oh God, oh God. Subtitles are on. Come on, let's get out of here. Yeah, so it's kind of. You have to hurry. I can't remember if it was like Walking Dead rules or Running Dead rules. Okay, that is disgusting. It looks like it's oozing blood from every pore. At full voice acting. Keep moving. How cool is I that? Can't last very long. So we're just never gonna hear those other characters, or maybe they'll maybe those other characters will appear as random NPCs. 
Okay, so it put me as... I forgot which one was which. Uh, Phoebe? Yeah, I'm Phoebe. Talk me into this plan? It's an army camp, hon. They must have food to share. Talk to Kate. Oh, I actually get like a dialogue tree. Okay. Well. Now that's using your head. Any options here? We're in the tutorial. That moment with a bat. I'm using an old ass Xbox 360 controller, which I think is I think literally the same controller I played <laughs> State of Decay 1 with. I'm just gonna be back there, okay. Whoops. Alright, why? Oh. There we go. Oh, that's Kate. <laughs> Better question, where are all the people? I think it's not the people possible. are zombies. Where'd everyone go? And why do they leave so much behind? Oh, we're about to loot all of it. Alright, so X is attack, and then Y, once they're down, you, you enter like a finisher animation. They really did a good job with the fact that one on one one on oneing a zombie is not super dangerous, but hordes of zombies are very dangerous. And they do the Left for Dead thing where there's a bunch of special zombies that can really fuck up your day. Explodey guys and pouncy guys and all that. I forgot their names. Uh, sound was a big thing. So if I did fast search right now, that would bring out an audible sound thing that could pull zombies to me from the area. Probably not here, but in other areas. I found bandages. That seems useful. Two more time. Oh, nice. That's a quick hit. Okay. I think I'm okay. I'm at like 90% hit points. You're not going to go away unless I use my bandage game. Uh-oh. I see a guy over there. Slowly walking. Shadows look pretty good. Like, never the best looking game series, but... I don't know, I think this looks pretty nice. Oh shit, he immediately goes into a loping run. Oh no, my bat! How do I use my knife? Oh, like that, okay. Oh, knife is like your just auto backup weapon. Shit, my, that bat didn't last very long. Thing. Search all the supplies. I wonder if one of the stats is tied to how fast you can search. I'm kind of waiting for the game to explain things, because I could sit here and dig into menus, but... Like, there's a sneak button somewhere that I'm not using. <laughs> Don't see me. Don't see me. Still searching. Still searching. Oh, great. We'd be safer if you found a better weapon. Keep your eyes open. Thank you, tutorial. All right. Knife you. Ugh. Ooh, okay. Ended up with a kill there. She was the one with a really good melee, right? I wonder if that's a result of her being really good at it. Mr. Salmon, a bag of snacks! It says briefly reduce starvation. Yikes. I have not found a weapon, unfortunately. Looks like containers just kind of highlight in front of me. I know what a sneak button is. Can I assassinate this guy? Ooh, I can. Nice. Oh no, you talked me into this. We're not quitting just yet. Come on, keep up. Can't you find something better than that knife? Hey, I'm doing pretty damn good with this knife. And come on, let's not fight. Let's not do this again. Ah, oh, shit. Save me, Kate. Nice. That was a cool animation. <laughs> she did save me also. <laughs> no complaints. Allied NPCs are quite useful. Hell yeah, give me that tire iron. 
Wow, look at all the stats. Impact, Dismember, Lethality, Speed, Durability, Knockdown, Quietness, and Ease of Use. Just what I needed. And it automatically is Velcro to the back. So that's how video games work. Alright, let's do a fast search. Be any consequences for that in this area. Perpetual sunset. Amazing. After all this time, people held out hope they'd reunite with loved ones. I bet they all tried to find their families, no matter what. Why would I try to find you? We weren't together. <laughs> uh, hello? We'd only been broken up for a week. I am not having this argument again. Not here. Did warn me they were perpetually on again, off again. I think I take 10 minutes staring at this cardboard panel. It's a note. The retreat is wrong. We took a note to protect these people. We cannot abandon them in their hour of need. Join our cause. Save our nation. We are Red Talon. Red Talon. It's like a mercenary group. Bandages are good. And a lot of this game is just sneaking into houses and taking resources and not getting killed by zombies. Oh shit, that's... That might be a bad zombie there. Ah! Ugh, fuck you. Fuck you. Nice. Haha, <laughs> stow it away. Bandages. Still just fighting one-on-one, -on -one, so... Oh, I got an achievement for something. Toothpaste pinatas. I swear it's the same animation from the first game, too. You kind of straddle them and, like... Do a golf swing right in their head. Hopefully all the sound and lighting and stuff is good. I kind of made a little bit of adjustments before going live. Is this a door I can go through? Yes, it is. What is this place? Uh, some kind of office, maybe? Stand and fight. All right to party. This one's locked. God, get it off me! Oh, shit. <sighs> oh no! Weird. It's like that bloody one I saw back at the gate. It bit me. I just hate it when they bite me. Oh, that's not. So you've told good. me. Good. Oh, that's freaky. We're gonna go and close that door. So the way the zombie virus worked in the first game is I think it was just a chance. It was a pretty low chance, actually. It wasn't like an instant bite, you were gonzo. There was a chance that if you got bit, then you would be contracted. And uh, you totally did have to like mercy kill your people. Oh, shoot, that goes around. But I don't think it was like, you know, one bite and you're done, but maybe that's what they're doing now, I don't know. Yep, Osprey civilian guidelines. No firearms, vandalism, or behavior, no loud noises. Yada, yada, yada. Or any illness or death immediately. Maybe this is why everybody ditched this place. People could get sick, and you had to get medicine for them. That was definitely a thing. Hey, this bite is really itchy. It's just a zombie bite. Get over it. <laughs> I do like they know what zombies are in this universe. Such a dumb thing about so many zombie movies. 
no zombie movie takes place in our oh, world because crap. none of them have heard of zombies this before. This just looks awful. camera. <laughs> Flip the body up. Get to go into like a finisher move animation. There we go. That's what it should look like. Oh, disgusting. And that's a nice thing because I believe when you're in that finisher move, you have like iframes. So you, I don't think you can be fucked with. Uh, why is the world suddenly so warm? Let's just keep looking around for medicine, okay? Is this really what happens? Like in the beginning, you lose your partner? Because that's fucked up. Why does all gay romance have to end in tragedy? I'm determined to save you, Kate. Ooh, a machete. Got dismemberment. We're sitting knocking down. Just what I needed. Yeah, it's way cooler. Inventory. Yeah, and I don't think the game ever pauses, which is always interesting. Oh, I still have that bat in my inventory. It's just broken. It's gonna take 42 screws to repair it. Oh, these stupid written things take up a whole slot of my backpack. That's dumb. You can have two melee weapons, one ranged weapon. You can have some kind of supplies in your rucksack. And then six items in two pockets. Although it looks like you can get a bigger backpack as well. <laughs> I'm all about subverting your expectations, Sean. Hey, first aid. Oh, it's just more bandages. This is useful, but it won't do anything for that fever. Hmm, we need cowbell. I know what can cure a fever. Or cowbell. Oh Props to anybody that understands that reference. Crouch to stealth. Tap L. There we go. We'll be fine. I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the flashlight also. Oh shit. Damn, that was a cool animation. Just knifed him and then flipped around to the ground. That's awesome. I do like really good zombie kill animations. Yes, I still watch The Walking Dead. <laughs> the heads explode. Zombie heads are very soft. Knowing this. Oh shit, it's the Screamer. I recognize that one. So as soon as I get close, and it looks like I have to, that guy's gonna scream and draw all the zombies to us. Spoiler alert. I guess it does take place in current day, indeed. It's been sequel easy mode. <laughs> all right, game, you're gonna force me to do this, aren't you? Oh. Got that blade two mouth. Get up that ladder. Oh now. shit! Go! Run! We running? We run oh fuck you, Kate. She's already going. Oh yeah, I forgot to sprint. Ah, go, go, go. Always depend on the kindness of strangers. What are you doing here? Civilians were dispersed days ago. We thought the army might have food. What happened here anyway? Orders from the top. The brass pulled the whole operation. The army's gone, period. Oh no. Except for a few of us who stuck around to protect stragglers like you. Ooh, I've been promoted to straggler. Not to alarm you, but I feel like I might be dying here. Do die on me, Kate. What are her symptoms? She was bitten by this bloody zombie. I think maybe it's infected. I've seen this before. It's more than just an infection. <sighs> There's a doctor at the SNB. Find him. Oh, okay. Tell him I, sent I was worried she'd just pull her gun out and we'd have to deal with a capital S situation. I 
don't know, I kind of want to stay up here. She's got a good little sniper perch, doesn't she? Freaking chicken wire all around. Springfield, that's a cool shit name. Don't your help. It. All right. All right, we'll continue on this linear tutorial path. Is this all new? I don't if, if any of you have played the original State of Decay 2. I'd be interested in knowing if this is the big change they made or, or what they changed. It, it said one of the things they changed with Juggernaut Edition was they uh, improved, I forgot what the words they used, improved and updated the initial experience over obstacle. What's up, everybody? Oh, shit. We have to go out. Hey, man, those crowds are crazy. He's just chilling out here. It seems kind of odd. Civilians doing here? You should be gone. What are you doing here, Carmouche? Are you a doctor? Oh, did she know? All right. What do you need? My uh, friend here got bit by a zombie. It's bad, right? Ah, oh, damn it. Okay, follow me. I trust a doctor with that haircut. Hey, that's what bit me. One of those bloody ones. Say hello to the Zed's latest gift. The blood plague. Blood plague. It just burns you up from the inside. Okay. But you can keep that from happening to me, right? Yeah, yeah, calm down already. <laughs> hey, you. Come here. I'm sardonic doctor. That seems like a new thing for the sequel, then. Specifically, bloody zombies that actually infect you. Go in there and find a sample case for me. You can use that flashlight of yours. What? Why are you sending me in there? You're gonna fucking shut me in here, aren't you? I don't trust that bullshit. Carmouche the douche. I have Probably what people called you. Blood plague with some other civilians. We found a cure that works if you use it soon after infection. If this door closes on the me, I'm gonna scream. When they left, but they didn't get everything. We're gonna put her in a cage. Bodies everywhere. This is not cool. Not cool, Carmouche. Ah, uh, I'm so creeped out. <laughs> the walking cowbell. <laughs> Doesn't have the prescription. Examples. All right. All right. Doors open. All right. Everything's fine. We're all fine. Did you find it? No yes. cure? Damn. I'll need an infirmary to culture a new dose. Hey, Doc. Things are looking bad out there. The noise brought enough zombies to overrun the perimeter. It's not even close the doors. The gates are coming down. It's time for us to go. All of us. You know I can't leave Terry. If you stay, I have to stay. Then we both die. Is that Terry? Terry's gone. But this woman still needs your help. I know you're right. Just give me a second. I understand. Don't take too long, though. Before we go, I need your help. That thing in the cage. It was a person once. I tried to reverse the effect, but we ran out of time. All right, boss. And now I'm too... I can't... I can't do what needs to be done. Oh, you just want me to kill a zombie? I can do that. I don't know who this was. Accept the gun from the doctor. <laughs> yes, indeed. I accept the gun. I accept gun. Highlight the weapon and press X to equip. Thanks, game. Huzzah! I have a gun now. Accept some muzzle attachments. Nice. Everything is rated for power, accuracy, control, quietness, range, fire rate, and max durability. Wow. That's pretty cool. Often seen on the big screen in the hands of spies with drinking problems. <laughs> Excellent. This is how they teach you to shoot. That's probably good because you really wouldn't be able to do this, uh, you know, in a crazy situation. I'm sorry. Do you see that blip I'm on sure my mini map? Because that makes noise this. when you shoot your gun. Thing in here I can loot. 
Also, you, uh, my camera is actually blocking it, but it pulls up a pretty cool UI when I enter my gun. Looks like I can change like firing modes and. Th I know this isn't the future you always wanted. If you just leave me to die, you'll have your life back. Damn it, Kate! I it's not happening. Yes. I'm not making it again. Our love burns brighter than any blood plague. Oh, I like that idea. Thank you for. You're the nice one. I'm the sassy one. We need the nice okay, one. You're driving. Everyone else, load in. A friend once described a place that might still be safe. I need gas can. Oh, so you can fill it up? Okay. Excuse me, everybody. Tooth. I'm just trying to do it. Okay. I'm expecting, inspecting the car. All right, we'll get in. Everybody jump in. Kate, I need you to jump in, sweetheart. Why did we leave Kate behind? Stop. I don't think we were supposed to leave her behind. I can't move right now. It's, it's we're driving we without me. Anything. <laughs> All right. Well, hopefully she teleported inside. <laughs> that was kind of awkward. It just fades to black with she's still running after me. Wait, you asshole! I never got in the car. Sounds like we're empty again. Better be close. This is the place. Pull up here. Why? It should protect us, at least for a bit. That's very woodsy. Holy crap. It's not much to look at, but it'll have to do. Hey, that flag's okay. hanging the wrong way. And, uh... How are you doing? I'm sure I've felt worse, but I don't know when. I don't know much, but I do recall that the stars are always supposed to be in the upper left. This blood plague is killing you. Right now, I need you in the infirmary. Oh no. I There's a counter on the left screen of blinking red funny, counting okay? down from 44 minutes. I don't like the sound of that. Blood plague victims. Keep blood plague victims in your infirmary to halt the progress of the disease. If you can bring them the cure, you can use it to save their lives. If you can't, you may need to kill them to prevent the plague from spreading. Just look at the flowers. Just look at the flowers. Oh, I'm playing as Kate now. Okay. Uh, it said something about checking my ability or something. There's too many things that just... Okay. Radio. <laughs> Stuck? Huh. <laughs> medical advice. <laughs> I need medical advice, please. Skills. There's the stats. Does have blood plague. Minus 25 to morale. Okay, now we can figure out what this stuff means. Cardio improves sprinting and climbing. And gives you more stamina. Wits improves search search speed and leads to advanced mental skills. Improved by searching containers and stealth-based zombies. Fighting improves hand-to-hand -hand combat. Shooting improves firearms. Leads to advanced shooting skills. Chemistry, which is her unique skill. Um... Improves crafting of incendiaries and recovery items. Improve workshops, infirmaries, and stills, or by blowing things up. Nice. Okay. The infirmary. Right. It's like, quit fucking looking at my stats. Medic. Press Y to be stabilized. Stabilize blood plague. Yes. Passively heals community. Minus one plague treatment med. Minus two meds per day. So yeah, a big game. Uh, part of the gameplay loop is you are basically supplying your community. You are going out on runs... And bringing back resources for your community. And there's also, of course, side quests you're doing and all this other stuff. So we need to put Kate 
to suspend the play, which is going to cost me three medical supplies a day. My home status is cheerful, but I do not have very many of any of the things. Looks like I do get all these people in my team. Carmouche, Springfield, and Phoebe. So unfortunately, it means I probably can't play as Kate for the time being. Current character. Oh, current character being stabilized. Select a different character and press X to take control of them. So this is the select screen. So I'm assuming all of these beginning... Obviously, we chose our, our initial couple, but I would assume that Springfield and Carmouche are probably always there in the beginning. Maybe they're not. I don't know. But And then from here on out, we'll be seeing mostly randomly generated, or I guess procedurally generated people. You can look at their stats, though. Active duty military. Loved going to the movies. I like you a lot, Yolanda. Londa Simpson. They all have, like, nicknames. I guess that's their, like, apocalypse name. Springfield. Wow! She's amazing! Five-star cardio, four-star wits, four-star fighting, and six-star shooting. Holy shit, you are a survivor. Our moosh is also really good. Camp physician, never been sick. Extra skills. Jeez. He's got the medicine skill. Allows crafting a first aid kit. Reduce the cost of emergency medicine. Offers health boost activities at infirmaries. Offers medical advice via the radio. Knowledge of medicine. Open closet. So you can... <gasps> oh my god. You can customize your people? Are you kidding? Oh All my right, lord. Yes, here you go. You're welcome. That's so cool. I can dress up my little action figures. Oh man, tattered leather jackets, flannel shirt, the official look of the zombie apocalypse. Wow. That's hilarious. Leather trench coat. Oh god, I got to unlock the leather trench coat. Come on, how do I unlock it? Ah. I need that in my life. Wait, what? You have to log into Age of Empires 2? <laughs> uh, some of these... Okay, weird. Some of these are unlocked by... doing different things in different games. That's fascinating. some help. Biker Jack looks awesome. We're going to go with that. Oh my god, there's hats too. I'm going to have way too much fun with this. A cowboy hat? Come on. I got to unlock all this shit though. <laughs> Fortune doesn't tell me if I actually have any of these available. Dockyard hat. <laughs> I actually like her hair. That's kind of cool. I don't know. I feel like I, I should stick with uh, Phoebe, though. And just try to improve her skill. I mean, she's actually really good. I just need to improve her shooting. Hello, Irie. Okay, so let's... To retake control of you, I guess. It looks like I can tab at the top. Can I tab over? Let's see. That doesn't do anything. That doesn't do anything. Maybe not. Zoom in and zoom out. I wonder how many survivors I can have. If I don't get treatment, I'm afraid I won't be of use to anyone. You right, each of the cells you find out what they you do. Can fix it, right? This isn't as good as having the actual cure, but I should be able to keep her blood plague from getting worse for a while. That is, if we can keep our supply of meds from running out. Shit, this is bad. The situation is under control. Isn't that right, Doc? What your friend needs is a cure. Lucky for you, I can make it. But I need more plague samples than we have on hand. This is definitely from the original game. We can fix this is how you put things. I Hi, Ari, welcome to the channel. I say we start there. Uh, that's how you literally put things on your minimap, like... Ubisoft style. You have to get to a tall point and survey the area. 
which is what the game is explaining to me right now. Open your map and examine each icon to see what is available to scavenge. Use the information to collect a plan. Scavenging runs and outpost claims. All right, so let's get a survey of the area. Wild to climb up and get a better look around. Way ahead of you. Let's look around. There is lots of points of interest here. You can see a restroom from here. Well, that's good for now. Is that everything? Or two sides. There's a few more things. Screamer spotted. Oh. I can see special zombies from up here. Um, let's see. How do I look at the like map? There we go. I don't know. The first thing I like to do with a game that's an open world is just stare at the map and see how big it is. It's not a very attractive map. Uh, let's see. So there's my home base. I do have a car. And there's all the different things I spotted. So I am kind of in the northeast corner whatever community this is. There's the main quest. Travel to the location in Springfield, Saw, Plague, Zombies. There's also some storage lockers, trash sites. Basically, I just need to explore this whole area down here. Oh. Outpost effect. Permanent safe area food collection. Outpost slots. Okay. Kind of different than a home base, maybe. Now I can switch between there. There's the base. All right, hopefully the game will tell me more about this if I go down. Teach me about my base game. Weird jerking motion when she goes down the stairs. Whoops. Damn it, games. Why do you always do that to me? Let me keep going in one direction. I mean to go down the ladder. All right, so infirmary, we kind of already know. It's healing people. We can craft medicine. Restore health. We don't want to destroy it. We can upgrade it. it requires chemicals. Hey, Dr. Carmouche. You again. So you can take him with you or switch I'll to you them. Soon. Promise. Man center, plus two outpost limit. Find resources and survivors. It's just takes me to that screen. Okay. We've got two parking slots in our garage, so I guess we can save cars. It's very Grand Theft Auto-y. We've got a storage. We've got the command center we're at now, the infirmary. And a firewatch tower with beds. Okay. We've got open slots. We can build a workshop, a kitchen, a staging area, a forge, an auto shop. Wow. Outdoor beds, sheltered beds, a barracks, hydroponics, a still. Hell yeah. Oh my god, there's a ton of buildings. Rain collector, generator. That's a lot more than the first game. First game had like six or seven. Well, that I remember. Oh, interesting. That red town was part of the DLC. So I also am not going to really know what is DLC and what's not, because it just includes everything. We don't have any supplies to actually build any of these. I think they're all grayed out. Don't know what to prioritize. So this is an open slot for somewhere. This is our storage, drop off resources, perform many other useful tasks. Draw a rucksack. So the bummer is you can only collect like one rucksack and go back to your base. You have to make a lot of runs. Store gas cans, scrap material for parts. Can we just scrap my... What did I just scrap? <laughs> I thought it would open my inventory. I don't know what I just scrapped. <laughs> Break down spare materials. I was a few parts. Um, 
I want to scrap this one, I think. How do I do that? And I don't... Well, maybe I do need all these things. Max durability. How much durability does it have right now? Is that that meter? Let's see. Scrap materials. Breaks down spare materials. Have a few parts. Oh, I know what I just did. I spent one of my, whatever that symbol is, like generic resources and turned it into 15 screws. So I don't want to be doing that too much. I've got one more of those I can do. Okay. I can pay attention and I can turn that into gas cans to fuel vehicles. Okay. Supply locker. Gear up. Drop off equipment you've scavenged. Ooh, they give me a generous amount of stuff. Backpack, weak painkillers, toolkits to repair vehicles, cups of coffee, postpone fatigue. Hell yeah. Store health with painkillers, bandages, pipe bombs, flashbang grenades, parts. Plague samples required to craft blood pure blood plague cure in your infirmary. Do I only have the nine bullets? That might actually do me some good to grab some extra bullets. Shoot, it's going to take up a whole other thing. Let's grab, like, half the bullets. And then I don't need to store these. So let's get rid of that. Okay, now I can salvage or repair it. I'm just going to salvage it. Oh, man, we need a whole workshop just to break down a goddamn baseball bat. All right, well, let's store it then. I'm not going to carry around a broken bat. Tempted to even not carry around the tire iron. Well, I can... Yeah, because we want to have things free to... We're collecting shit. So we're going to store that also. We're going to have space open to, to grab some stuff. I don't want to go out at night, do I? Seems like a bad fucking idea. The community, so this one can regain health, convert from fatigue and trauma. So there is an overarching thing where if you play one character too long, this was from the first game, uh, they would run out of uh, their like total stamina, I believe, would be reduced. Yeah, remove fatigue by leaving tired characters home. So they'll have like a tired condition and they'll just be overall weaker. So that encourages you to basically have to switch up characters. All right, we are we are heading out. Oh, okay, that's a nice little quick bar. So as soon as I hit RB, I can use snacks or bandages. I don't think we need to take a car, but if we find a car, we could. Heading out. Everybody, stay safe. Certainly, bring it back. All right, so let's check the map again. So if we go straight, if we go a little southwest, we can grab these guys. Put a waypoint on there. But I can't take too long. Because uh, Kate does need me. Boy, the default walking speed is pretty slow. See you, zombie. Fatty, fatty, boom, balatty. You turning around anytime soon, so I'm just gonna knife you from behind. Or, you know, in the face, whatever works. And one cool design decision they made back in the first game is you can see those red glowing eyes from far away, kind of give away the zombie's position. It's also a very creepy effect. Right, so I'm checking this out just because it's close. So the stuff would be a container. That is not. 
I open these or no? Sealed storage lockers. They are certainly sealed. I see you. Open. Shit, I can hear them. That's fucking scary. There's somebody in that fucking camper. It says this is a container, but I don't see a way to... Oh, here we go. Search the whole truck. Searching animation is still kind of dumb. They just kind of glance That's around. Totally worthless. All right. Crafting material. Assume the area around my first base is a little bit more forgiving. I knew this place was worth searching. Repair vehicle kits. I wonder how common vehicles will be, because that was a big thing that kind of unbounced the original game, is you generally find a lot of vehicles. Oh boy, so a rucksack. Now the bummer about rucksacks, you can only carry one at a time. So you have to take it all the way back to base. Uh, factory packed military ammunition never opens. That would add ammo to my home base. Soldering station. Tinker's soldering bench used to craft homemade electronics. Install this mod in a workshop to craft remotely activated boombox decoys. That sounds fucking amazing. Requires power. I feel like a pack mule. Oh shit, that encumbered me. And a Molotov. I'm encumbered and already full on supplies. Holy crap. I've got to get that back uh, backpack upgrade. You can see that rucksack literally physically takes up uh, space on my back. That's right. In movies and shows, cars do blow up all the time. They all run on bombs, I guess. I don't know. Found another empty one. Go up here. Oh, that was somebody's little spot up here. I think there's anything up here, though. There's a pretty big way to open this, so I'm just gonna not leave it. And it looks like these are two different areas, but I see a way of getting inside the sealed one. Full of supplies, anyway. Nothing up here. Okay. Well, let's head back to base and drop off this stuff. Oh, interesting. The Molotov is a quick item. But it still has to take up. So that's still on my quick bar, even though it's not in my pockets. I keep opening that map. Inventory, okay. Alright, so let's... Head back to base, which was... Here. Immediately zombies outside. <laughs> Did you have to do that so noisily? Gross. Yeah, oh, I love that animation so much. I respect the zombies a lot. Well, I've survived this long. Alright, coming in. Don't shoot me. Not that you have anybody on guard duty anyway. Food stockpile low. Med stockpile low. Well, I've brought ammo. <laughs> we feasting on bullets tonight.
Okay, I got the supplies home. That was worth two achievements. I don't know what ammo in the home base does. I assume maybe defend against... I don't know, like everything kind of ticks down naturally, so... Keep track of all that. Oh, I can also turn it into ammo that I can take. Sounds like a workshop should be something I should build, but I need more... Buildy points to do that. Where? Okay, supply locker. All right, let's um, store our crafting parts. Store our. Okay, let's just repair a large amount of damage on a vehicle by walking up to the front of the vehicle and interacting with it. So store that. I'll hang on to the Molotov because that seems fun. Don't know if. Oops, my controller just turned off. I want to hang on to the repair kit. I just don't have much space in my inventory. I'm going to store it. Stick to having more bullets. Maybe that was a mistake, having all these bullets. You know what? I'm going to store these snacks, and we're going to... Can I move? That to my pockets, or no? Maybe I can't. Alright, so we're going to go out again. She's still hurting. I don't know if I actually need to manually close these doors or not, but we're doing it anyway. Alright, so now we're going to go towards the main quest. It's down there. Probably should not be doing this at night, but whatever. Head on a swivel. Walk a little bit with the sprinting. It doesn't make that much noise. Oh shit. Time to move quietly. I'm not to anyone if I get sick too. Oh. Yep. Collect a plague sample from a fallen plague zombie. I could shoot, but I think as soon as I shoot somebody, that's going to rile the others. Generally, stealth is the preferred way to go. Don't know if they respond to light, though. Alright, that looks like a blood one. Proved my wits, I guess, with stealth kill. All right, can I collect a sample from him or no? There's no prompt for that, so it must be a certain one. I believe with the magic of third-person camera, we actually can keep our head on a swivel. Ooh, what two rounds? Fifty armor-piercing bullets. Okay. And another machete. What's better than one machete? Two machetes. Ruined car lot. Potential resources question mark. Container search zero of one. Zombies remaining. It's kind of help you out with knowing if you've cleared an area, I guess. Which is just this middle square. That must be the container. Kill you real quick. That cool move. Hell yeah. Standings increased. Hey, I found one of those plague samples. Who? Red eyed plague zombies are curious for the blood plague. Okay, so just the red eyed ones are actually the blood zombies. Plague zombies gather in highly dangerous areas surrounding plague hearts. Dead plague zombies can drop fleshy samples that are ingredients for the cure. <laughs> Instead of okay, it's just as gross. <laughs> good. That's good. Now get back here before my patient gets any worse. Have to stick with my left hand, not very good. All right, we got a gas can. We got a case of chemicals. Crap! I can't fit all this crap. Used for crafting or upgrading facilities. 
There's no room for that. Oh, balls. All right. Um, shoot. Well, let's get rid of these two bullets. And do I have any parts? Four parts is probably not worth it, so we're going to grab a gas can. No room for that. All right. Man, you fill up quick. Holy crap. I do know that if you have a car, uh, you can put stuff in the trunk. And that helps quite a bit. It's somebody, where are you? Got the noise in this game. All right, let me get back. Good. I'm back, and I have the sample. How's she doing? Ah! Oh no, she defeated the fence. Well, you're not, so stay in bed. You go drop that sample in the supply locker. God, with very, keeping track of your very few bullets, you really do want to, like, not be firing willy-nilly, at least early game here. All right, I got your sample. Let's see. Pause the plague sample into your supply locker. Okay. Plague samples. We now have enough plague samples to make the cure she needs. We should get on that as soon as possible. Save her. <laughs> I also found a spare machete. I also found a gas can. Let's see how worthy I am of this community. Extra bandages. Is three the limit on bandages? Yep, here so. All right, not taking more than that then. Um, used for crafting or upgrading facilities. Where the cure? Oh, infirmary. Okay. Craft items produce meds. Prepare plague cure. Plus one vial of plague cure requires five plague samples and two medical supplies, which we've got some of that. Okay, I have the cure in hand. Don't that worry, take any time. I'll be feeling better in no time. Is that cure ready yet? I'm not sure how much longer I can last. So dramatic. Okay, yeah, upgrades require multiple cases of chemicals and building supplies. I feel awful. I've lost count of how many times I've thrown up. What? Good news, I've got the cure. You just need to wait a little longer. No, You're I'm gonna be you. okay. I'll take care of you. Do you really think this will work? Oof. I'm definitely feeling a lot better. You see what just happened? We refused to give up, and we actually won. I know this world sucks, but every win counts. Pretty soon they might add up to something real. All right. Healed my person. You can actually cure the zombie plague. I want a world where nobody has to endure what we just went through. And yet there's and still a zombie apocalypse. That's making this town safe for us and anyone else living here. I saw a screamer as we came into town. They always have a lot of zombies around. Seems like a good place to start. Oh, just kill that screamer. We need to make our home safe rather than go on hunting expeditions. We can make this place a lot friendlier if we use some building materials. I've already been there. Huh. So I shouldn't go ahead of the story at some point. So the characters have their own story goals. That's new. BB wants to address the zombie threat. Kate wants to strengthen the base to survive. The rest of the zombie threat is down here. Travel to the Spirioil Station where... Oh, that's the Screamer. Okay. 
No, I saw a screamer right here. Uh, so that doesn't mean, do I need to be Kate to actually do that story? Maybe I do. Let's, let's turn in my bullets then. Where's the locker? I'm going to empty her inventory first. We'll switch to the newly healthy Kate. We should think about improving our home rather than looking for a fight. Oh, maybe you don't have to actually be them. Optional talk to another community member and add them as a follower to help carry supplies. So nice to see you. Just Hi, you're it. Shit, no, the phrase I wouldn't be caught dead in that means a lot more now. I get to be Phoebe, and she's got her own stats and her own abilities. She's bat, she's got a screwdriver as her basic weapon. All right, so we can talk can to Phoebe. You. I have some chores to do. And now she'll follow me. Him? Lead the way. All right, so oddly wants us to go back to that. Crash self storage site, even though it was already there, but this appears to be a mission, so maybe I should. Huh? Do it. Sorry. So you can switch to them in the wild, I can, uh, at least your follower. I can just talk to them and switch to her. That's pretty nifty. Let's try upping her stats a little bit. I do not have the gun with her, though. I could use some guns. I hope this place has the materials I'm looking for. Should this really be our priority right now? Building a secure home is always a priority. Zombies incoming! Man, you're a way better Phoebe than I was. Container search two out of three. I guess I missed a container. Here is zombie. That won't work. I'm not able to do that. Oh. That's the wrong button. Right, here is zombie. I knew my luck hadn't run out. There it is. Oh, good. I can't wait to get these materials home. If you want to lighten your load, I could carry that rucksack. If you want to lighten your load, I could carry that rucksack. Yes, five resources. All right, so I'm still part of the tutorial. Collect his rucksack, scavenge for rucksacks, deliver them to your base, talk about supplies. Resources can be depleted over time or, cre or created with guards and outposts. Okay. Nice. All right, all that's a lot easier. Definitely want to have somebody with you. Fuck. Oh, okay. Thank you. We still can't get into these sealed ones. Guess we'll just head back and drop off that rucksack. With these zombies on the way. Oh, you spotted me. You've got to keep that one down. Ooh, he's going to smoosh it. Kind of nasty. Okay, we made it back. I think I've met more folks I like since the apocalypse than before. Now you have to take them from the bar. Huh? Alright, so you still have to manually turn it over. Resource rucksacks go into your storage facility, not the supply line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Already ahead of you, game. All right, five materials in that one. Supply lockers for inventory items like inventory, like weapons and consumables. You can actually supply a locker at home or any of you've claimed. That makes sense. Just the thing for the job. So now I'm at six. So now we I could use those materials to start building yeah. whenever we're ready. If we built a workshop, we could keep our weapons. That's exactly and good what I was thinking. Like a workshop, also explosives. Remember when we had to go looking for excitement? <laughs> I lived for it. Rocked when that workshop is done, we'll be able to keep our weapons from falling apart on us. Lock new capabilities for community. Use them to craft items, produce resources, and perform other key functions. Let's track the ongoing costs of your facilities on the base menu. Base menu. That just kind of appeared. There's nothing worse than being unarmed out there. We're getting low on building supplies. Oh, it's still building. Okay. okay let's see. Where was I? Remember when we had to go looking for excitement? <laughs> I lived for it. Rock climbing and rafting and stuff it was tame compared to my life now. On safe and planned. But it sure made me feel a We should establish some control over this area. <laughs> we don't want troublemakers coming into town. Eating all other things. I noticed a military site not far away. We should set up an outpost there ASAP. Not only will it provide a steady supply of ammo, it'll send a clear message to any strangers coming into town. I'm almost starting to think like Good to you know. Mean. Okay, let's see. Where was I? It was tame compared Somebody's to already walking away, so they must just drop some off. But it sure made me feel alive. Almost done. My workshop. So that was it for Kate, so I need to do Phoebe's mission next. Construction's complete. Good job, everyone. Why did it disappear? Oh, there it is. <laughs> I needed to flip around for a second. This workshop. Craft items, produce ammo, repair, and salvage weapons. Now I can salvage that baseball bat. I also install my soldering station. Craft boombox decoys. Hell yeah. Pipe bombs, box bombs, thrown decoys, crossbow bolts. Interesting. All of these require... I guess it's installing the mod right now. It takes real time. Oh, that's nice. Wow, Easter bag. Melee weapon costs two screws. That seems worth doing. Shit, I can't do it while it's upgrading that mod. Okay. Fine, I'll let you do your thing. Alright, so let's pick up more fuel out there, okay? I wanna do the quest to address the zombie threat from Phoebe. It says claim some territory with Springfield. Which is here. That's getting pretty far. So do you want to carry anything with yeah. you? Storage locker. Huh? Not you. Why locker? Um, we do not have a spare gun yet, unfortunately. I guess I'll keep you with the bat. Actually, you're going to have the tire iron. Tire iron more than the bat. Store the bat. Um, maybe I kind of like you being empty and then carry whatever we need. All right, let's let these two go. Oh, how do I activate a new mission? Highlight a mission and press A to activate it. I guess this is the mission? No, oh, that's just my home. Um, 
Still not activating a mission. How do I activate a mission? I think I'm just pinpointing things on the... It's not counting as a mission. Maybe I do have to be that person, so let's switch to... Huh? BB. Of course I'll go with you. Now I'll see if I can activate it. I cannot. Hmm. So I see it under story goals, but I can't click on that. I can only click on things in the map. Click on that one. I don't know. Well, let's just try to go th towards that area. I'm just annoyed by the thing that's still on my screen. A door? There's a door. Actually, I want that Molotov back in my inventory. That's the one. Don't know how to activate a mission game. Stop yelling at me. This one time when I was feeling down, I got talked into taking a tango class. So unlike me. I had more fun than I thought possible. I always meant to go back, but somehow I never got around to it. Oh, there we go. Just on a slightly different screen. Alright, that should work. There we go. Press it on the D-pad. It's way the hell over there. You How long does night last? Out. Jesus. Ooh, that was a one-hit knockdown. There's the place we were at, which is that... Carport thing. If a station has been spotted, invisible on the map. That sounds bad. Ooh, is this a survey thing? That could be good. I'm faster. Soldering station complete. Looks like okay. We can spot some more stuff in the distance. Hey, Kate. Is that bar full? Ooh, crap. That Sparrow Station is infested. That's what it meant by infestation spotted. I guess we're full. Spotted all the things. The shopping mart over there, we could probably find supplies at also. Infestation sounds bad. Them. Yeah, let's set up these supplies first. Which was this way. Little gas station type things. Night lasts a really long time in this game. I'm sure the game looks very nice, but we've been in night mode for quite a while. Mm, beggars can't be choosers. Okay, got some ammo. I'm finding a lot of ammo, but I don't have any guns. What does that mean? Potential resources pizza. I <laughs> think that's a sign for food. Search zero four. Zombies remaining. That's ominous. 
Bag of snacks, not super useful. What's this little flag thing? For a lantern. Painkillers, more snacks. Sight not secure, okay. So I guess I can light that if there's no... Claim this as an outpost. Very good outpost. Ooh, check this out. Food. Let's give it to Kate. Yes. Take this rucksack. Look like there's food in there, but we're gonna take what we can take. That's a lot of nothing. Site can be claimed. Okay, what does that mean exactly? If we claim this site. Claiming requires 300... Whatever that is, renown or something. Permanent safe area and collects food. So probably automatically collects food. And this one automatically collects medicine. However, we have two slots, and one of my quests is to claim territory out here. So maybe I shouldn't claim any of these just yet. Basically, it prevents zombies from ever spawning there, and I think you get like a safe point to maybe. I think maybe you can store goods. Maybe they should be farther away from the home base. So we're not going to claim it yet. And I'm kind of learning to continue with the game's like tutorialization first before trying to get too ahead of things. Ooh, that one saw me. See that? Oh, shit. Saw me right through the fucking window. That was freaky. Medical building. That is kind of helpful where it just tells you if you found all the things yet. Even rooms, two out of four. All right, medical resource. So now we've each got a rucksack, so we should probably go back to base. Just after exploring these two little buildings. Now it's fast search it. Set of free weights, facility mods. Install this mod to fight fighting a training facility to grant a health bonus to each survivor in our community. A very specific thing. This is seriously too heavy. Oh, I think I'm over encumbered. Shit. Noise brought him right to me. That's not good. I just fucked up there. So I made sound, which apparently just spawns zombies. Shit. Lots of them headed this way. Great. Jesus Christ. What? I'm out of bullets already? Oh, that's right, I stored my bullets. Let that screamer know I'm here. What screamer? Fuck. Alright. More out there? Good, it's here. Is there a way to, like, shove this door open? Ooh, I maxed out her fighting. But it sounds like I'm tiring her out also. Yep, she's in the tired state. So her entire stamina has been max reduced. You can see in the low, lower left corner. I've only got 75% of my stamina. All of that because I tapped the fast search button, which is apparently a roll of the dice to see if it'll spawn more zombies. Alright, there's one more container here. Then we need to go back. 
the base, and I need to not play as Phoebe for a bit. Oh shit, this was her quest though to go out there, wasn't it? Damn it. Maybe I'll actually continue on there. Where is the fucking fourth container? No more zombies? Hmm, too bad. Done searching this place. All right. A roll of firecrackers or seven parts are my choices. Let's put something down first. I can carry them all. Not possible. Let's just get rid of the snacks. I don't need snacks. I could have thrown my Molotov, but I'm actually worried with Kate standing right there that I would have not gone over very well. Well, I could return to base. Hey, the sun's finally coming out. Let's see how far away I am. Uh, I'm pretty close. Let's go ahead and return. I could at least switch to... Or can I just have... Do I have to be the person the story is, or can I just have them in my party? Or do I even need them? Oh, shit. I meant to... Stealth you. She had a cool hoodie on. Oh, there's a screamer over there. Sneak up on him. Shit, it's facing this way, I think. Well, you know what? We can throw our Molotov at it. Nice. Alright. Couldn't really aim the Molotov, but that worked. Give me five influence. Influence is the one that you need to probably recruit people and claim outposts and all that. Alright, so we're going to run back to base. I'm going to switch to Kate. And then we'll go out and do her mission, and then that'll probably be the end for the stream. We are still kind of in the middle of the tutorial. Wow, she really has no stamina. Jesus. It's finally daylight, though. Yay. Right. Off the rucksacks. We need more medicine around here. Yep, there you go. There's some meds. Let's drop off all the other crap we got, which was ethanol. Full of firecrackers, set of free weights, which was super heavy. Bullets, painkillers. She needs bullets. Why? Actually, reload this gun. X. Okay, so now we're going to switch to. I'm listening. Kate. I'm right behind you. Instantly, which is really cool. Pause it. You're a rucksack. Visit our workshop. Can we do anything here now? We can repair our weapons. And we can build a soda can bomb. Empty a bunch of bullets into soda cans and duct tape on some short fuses. That'll probably work. <laughs> Roll of firecracker, so I can craft those now. Crossbow bolts, I don't have a crossbow. And just, you can produce ammo directly for the home base. Improves craftsmanship and chemistry skills. Missions will increase our yields. Let's get some of these soda can bombs. Three soda can bombs added to inventory. Okay. What's the... My middle weapon's still okay. I've got durability. Okay, cool. So we can throw those as bombs. We'll probably need those. So... 
figure out if we need Phoebe with us or not, but... Oh, I am still injured, though, aren't I? I'm just about out of these. Let's heal yourself. You are kind of out of them. Let's grab some more bandages. Which is going to be right here. Oops. Automatically grabs them in clumps of three. That's perfect. I have any of the stamina. All right. Let's go clear out that infestation. It's finally daylight. Let's see what the game actually looks like now. Properly in a non-tutorial level. So this time we are headed out. It's a lot more rural than the first game, and that might just be our opening base. Kind of miss the, like, neighborhoods you start with in the first game. This is probably the safest place to be in a zombie apocalypse. My cardio just goes up by doing the thing. Oh, shit. Well, that's going to be a problem. There's your infestation, I think. With a screamer. In the middle. Fuck. Well, I do have my bombs. You're about to employ. I'm just about out of these. Ooh. That's all I have. I hate to say it, but this whole place is infested. Are you sure about this? Right in there with a stone on the ground. Alright, those bombs work pretty well. Got him on the ground. There we go. Soften them up. Stations are dangerous. They can spread if you don't keep them in check. Infestations are created by screamers who attract other zombies. Remove an infestation, kill the screamers, and clear the side okay, of zombies. Okay, it's done. And I'm still here. Hey, that's great. So far, the only thing I don't like is there doesn't seem to be any kind of way to judge where your grenade is going to end up. I just click the button and it just kind of tosses it a certain distance. So there wasn't any kind of like UI for aiming the actual grenades. Which is why I've been coming up a little bit short on them because it seems to be a way to day. aim them. out there. Game, are you really going to have this open map thing on a new mission every time? You let me in unless I have a new mission queued. Mm, not exactly what I was hoping for. What? How could you not hope for a biker vest? Amazing. It's not take up a slot, does it? Does not. Okay, so you can just unlock those. That's a cool loot idea. You can dress up your collectible action figures. Like that. Collection. There's nothing here. One more. Thing somewhere. So three out of four in container search. Where's the fourth container? Not that flag. Might be outside. There it is. It's a gas can. <laughs> the term container is loose. It is a gas can. Alright. Increased my wits. 
Okay, so if I actually want to... There we go. So I have to not be clicking on something, and then if I go up or down, then I can do the story goals. Connect with other survivors. Oh, use a radio. Okay, so that and that probably begins a, a generated mission. Oh, there you go. Secluded house. So there's a good chance that could be some people I have to save. Outpost effects too. Ah, oh, there's a house at the end of the line. That's the cool thing about this game is there's just always shit to do. There's just, you can decide what you're doing and go out and do it. Yes, there is a main quest. You do beat the game at some point. I don't remember if it's time-based or how that works, but there is an overarching main quest, story quest involved. But a lot of times, I guess, just a lot of these little side quests and you kind of just go out and choose what you want to do and always make yourself stronger. I do need to freaking drop Phoebe back off. Huh? I can just dismiss you, can I? Although I'm the one with the rucksack. Let's give you my rucksack. Talk to me. And then I'm gonna... Hang in there, okay? Stop following you, yeah. So I think she'll just run home on her own. Will you survive that run? We're not very far. Where are you going, Phoebes? <laughs> Alright, game. So we'll do this one. I guess I have to go back to base anyway and use the radio. What I'd like to do... Oh, we can do the radio from here? Oh. Ah. Resources and people. Okay, so if you're out of something, you can spend influence to try to find, okay, game, spawn me something I can go and grab. In this Hello. case, it's survivors. We're a new community of survivors reaching out to our neighbors. If you can hear me and want to meet up, please reply. It's a relief to hear another voice. We're in a bit of a bind and could use some help. Can you come by? Charla. I know they're strangers, but I don't see how we can turn our backs on them. Yeah, and then if you go help them, you can gain them as potential uh, people in your uh, community, which means you can play as them, and they'll have randomly generated stats and all that. So you definitely want to have more community people and nail puller. Oh, that looks cool. They're actually oh, they're further down here. Okay. All right, well, let's do one. <laughs> it's going to be the, like, one more thing. We're going to do one more thing, and then we're going to stop the stream. We're going to help these people potentially gain some allies in the process. And I'm probably going in hot. I still don't have fucking any supplies. They have a gazebo. Is it a dread gazebo? This isn't a trap. Yeah, Shit, they're in the middle of a... Somebody, right? And they're in the middle of a That's fucking right, attack. Someone out there needs our help. Yep. Don't let that one hit you. Can I search your shit real quick? Help the neighbors fight off attacking zombies. Nope, nothing. Alright, it's gonna loot your house, but... Dude, you don't have the lights on? Oh, shit. Oh, she fell through the fucking window. Dude, kill this guy. I'm Citizen Kate. We're seeing a lot more plague zets lately. I tell you, it's that new plague heart growing nearby. <laughs> Tell me it's that new plague heart down the street. Ever since they put that plague heart in, it's nothing but zombies. I told them they shouldn't have put that plague heart in. I'm sorry to ask a favor so soon, but our food supply is spoiled. Do you have any extra? <laughs> you can learn. So you can see their dice. Like, do I want to help you? What are your stats, really? Four star fighting, one star shooting. That's pretty solid. Can I look at your... Take the blade sample, that's always good. Fact 
my partner, Jeff. Whoa, max seven plays, seven star sword play. Dude's a fucking samurai in a hoodie. Jeffrey Correa, my man. Hell yeah. I'm I want y'all in my group. We'd really appreciate that. That man a machete. Uh, wait, so what was my mission? Hey there. Need better relationship. Shoot, they did mention I had a mission. Oh, they needed food. That's what What's they up? said, right? They needed food. Would you like to trade? Sure. I don't have food on me. Oh, I can give you shit for influence, though. I assume that just increases my influence, though. Hmm. Okay. See you. How do I improve the relationship? Well, I'm gonna loot the home that you're in. I don't think it's your it home anyway. Like our neighbors are short on food. Oh, there we go. We could pull some surplus food from our storage, or we could go out scavenging for them. I suppose. Okay, so I basically ne next time I have a rucksack of food, I need to bring it to them instead of my base, and then that would improve our relationship. <laughs> Or I could go to my base, pull out a food from me. Oh, really, there's one right there. The, the one place I was already in. Damn it, I need to stop going to any place that's not part of the tutorial. So I keep having to go return there. Work on your cardio, okay? Jeez. And I can run faster than this. So that mean a rucksack spawned in here. Set up an outpost here. <laughs> yep, for now there's another container magically. Probably got a rucksack of food. I wonder how much of this is to newly tutorialized. The game's teaching how to do all these mechanics. It's a little handholdy, but I do appreciate it. Like I said, I've played the first game, so I know what I'm doing. But all right. time to carry this food over to the neighbors. Most of this would be new material. Got a pizza symbol on the back. Practice the running. I don't know. They got a pretty good base right there. That's a. Well, I guess it's not really walled off. You've got a gazebo. It's worth something. The neighbors. All right. So how do I give it to you, or is Charla? Uh, if you can't you find more food soon, thanks. You really came through for us. Did. Yes, we owe you one. You do. Sure thing. Here's how to many small enclaves of human survivors. If you're helpful, they can become allies, trading partners, or recruits. Ignore or betray them, and they may become dangerous hostiles. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> Good to know there are other people who'll stand with us. If we work at it, Build a society out here that actually lasts. Yeah. Light backpack. It still only has six slots, though. Maybe it just. That's not going to fit. Takes up less. Four. Oh, it is ultra light. Yeah. That's not going to fit. Why can't you equip it? Because you're full of stuff. Drop everything then. There we go. Pick up the stuff I care about. I think we need that torn page. I'm a little full at the moment. Wait, did you did you have that backpack in your inventory? You do. Well, I guess we can. Sell it or drop it when we need to. All right, so can I recruit you people? Hi. Nope, we still need a better relationship. Okay. Would you like to trade? Sure. 
you like this torn page? I don't have it in my inventory. Would you like this small backpack? There. Got some influence. I don't have anything I can actually buy, though. So you can use influence to buy from other people as well. You don't have anything good. I'm not sure how to further improve my standing with you guys, so hopefully that'll have come up. One. And I'm officially entering the exhausted state with Kate, right. so that means I need to go All back right. and pick a new survivor. But I think that is a good timing. I'm sure I've searched everything here. Ooh, except seeds. A carving knife. Ninja hoodie! For today's hipster ninjas! Nice. Well, what's more important? I like the weapons, but we can't eat weapons. Boy, the carving knife has no durability, though. I hate making these choices. I don't have a garden, so I'm going to leave the seeds. All right, so I guess next time I'll probably pick Springfield and do the... Um, the claiming territory one, so we're still kind of going through the motions of the tutorial. But uh, so far it is very, very much like the original State of Decay, and for me that is a huge compliment. I really enjoy this play style. I'm still only scratching the surface, but uh, I am looking forward to playing a lot more State of Decay. So thank you all for joining me for the stream, or if you're watching the recording afterward, hello from the past. Uh, I'll be back with more State of Decay 2. I'll pick up right where we left off on Monday evening, and I will return for more streaming tonight with the next session of our Tomb of Annihilation D&D game. See y'all then for that. Bye.